What's up, friends? This is Jazz, bringing you another Better for Worse vlog number 92. I got two strips for you guys, but one is a new one from a rerun. And the first strip is from September 4th, 2019, but it was also a rerun of September 5th, 1990. Know what I want in my lunch, Mom? Cold cuts and cheese. And not too much mustard this time. You could put in some carrot sticks, a couple of oatmeal cookies, and I like the tropical fruit juice with the guava and pineapple. Michael, you'll have the time to make your own lunch. Make my own lunch? What did he take? A bun and an apple. Wow. I think this is the point where Michael's like, what, 14, right? And he's just got a... Like, he's still in this frame of mind that he hadn't made his own lunch. But you know what? I don't care much for making my own lunch either when I'm going to places like school or work. Like, I have to think of getting to school or work. Right? Like, for me, I just... I don't really think... How do I put it? Like, I just... I don't like thinking of the things that I don't have to think about in a way. Like I usually when I go to work, when I, I used to have lunch when I go to school, to went to school, but I don't eat so much when I go to work because it's in the afternoon anyway, to only till three o'clock. So I usually will eat after work in a way. Sometimes I'll be allowed to get something from a restaurant. Try to cut, they're trying to cut back on that though, but it's my. Since I was recording, it's my first day back. Yes, I'm bulk recording. So, I'll be probably getting something from a restaurant, probably. But anyway, I feel so... Well, I actually got to think it's funny. Allie really did a good one on Michael. That he only brought a bun and an apple. What type of bun? Like, did he already just take a bread bun, like a roll, and not have anything with it? Was he that lazy? Like, he couldn't slap on even some cheese and cold cut? Like, he doesn't have to do everything he could commanded his mother to do, right? But he could have taken the sandwich anyway. Like, a bun with, with meats on it is good. Like, I could do that, right? But anyway, I just, like, is he that lazy? Like... Now, before I go on to the other strip, the difference between the two strips is that the one in 2019 is colored in, where the other one is more black and white. The words are pretty much still the same, in a way. So, let's get on to the final strip. The final strip is from September 11th, 1991. John, how would you feel if I went back to work? Fine, if you're ready, it's fine with me. I'd feel so guilty, though. April's still so young. I should stay home with her. On the other hand, staying at home would drive me absolutely crazy. Well, the one person to consider is is the baby. Would she be happier with a guilty mother or a crazy mother? Guilty. Definitely guilty. Thanks, honey. That was the perfect answer. I forgot the question. Wait, wait, wait. He forgot the question already. I mean, he just gave her the answer. Like, obviously it's true. Would she feel, she would she be happier with a guilty or a crazy? Guilty. But those years go back to work. That's, that's true. Like, cra like, like, April at this point, I can say, would be about five months old. She was born in April, so about five months old. She would be six months the next month. So it's, it is okay. I mean, as long as she's able to give formula or pump or whatever it is, she could give her over to a sitter for the amount of hours she goes. Like, as as John said, a crazy or guilty mother, right? If she stayed home any longer, she would go crazy, which would, in fact, affect April. So I think John made the smart decision, even though he forgot what his question was within the five seconds he gave the answer. Yeah, well, at least he gave a good answer for once in his his career as a husband. He gave the answer that Ellie was happy about. Like, he actually listened and took time to give an appropriate response. And said, like, I don't know, it's something... You know, like, he actually gave a very smart choice of words. Yay for John in this situation. Like, she able to figure it out for herself by just, like, deciding, what did you want a crazy mother or a guilty mother? Like, and she'll get over it. Like, 
and both of them will get over it, right? And it's not going to do any permanent harm as long as Ellie is attentive when she's home with April. That's like she needs to get a little time away from the house because she's been spending months and months in the house with April. She she's been used to working for so many years. She needs a little bit of time to herself. I'm not saying that you should just go and abandon your child just for work. As I mentioned a few episode videos ago that you need a balance but for Ellie she does need that balance she needs about well, six hours away five hours away whatever it is just to get her sanity back for she can be a mother again it's and it's something she loves to do not many people love work the way Ellie loves work so like for example I have nothing to get away from I mean I do love the staff at my workplace like I, I love the other individuals I work with right and there's nothing wrong with it it's just like it's work right it's that's what it is I have really nothing that completely to run away from in a way so when I go back home it's like ah oh, my security blanket so I'm not like Ellie in that situation but I do in some ways now work more on my YouTube when I'm there so I technically I am doing something I love in a way now at work it just depends on how I feel right but I think John gave the right answer even though he forgot the question so shortly after, he gave, he, he remembered as long as he needed to remember it. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe and help this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.